چرا ساگار هستم الان در نقطه پوئلوما نزدیک چراغ دریایی هستم مجسمه ای که پشت سر من میبینید مجسمه گابریلو هستش که میگویند اینجا رو کشف کرد این نقطه سندیگو رو مردم بیان اینجا و تماشا میکنن میبینید که همه جا ویزیتورها اومدن و دست راست من این طرف شهر سندیگو هست که الان میریم جلو از بالای تپه پوئلوما محل مجسمه گابریلو دارم شهر سندیگو رو به شما نشون میدم این قسمت پوئلوما مانند انگشتی داخل اقیانوس شده و بلند چراغ دریایی گوشه دیگر که بعدا به شما نشون میدم و از اینجا ما غرب شهر سندیگو رو میبینیم و در این بخش بیشتر تحسیصات نیروی دریایی امکان قرار داره الان داره ما میوزه های مختلفی اینجا اومدن و من نقطه خوب عکاسی هم هست باد هم مسلما در این ارتفاع بالا شنیده میشه قایق های تفریح دارن وارد اقیانوس میشن My story is that uh, my countryman, Zhao, was Portuguese. He wasn't Spanish. He made a lot of money, and you can hear about him in the uh, video inside. It's kind of kind of neat. So you're a good advertisement for San Diego. What? Portuguese, yeah. Uh, where you are right now, what is this point? Well, we're right next to the Portuguese statue of uh, Zhao Cabrillo, also known as Juan Cabrillo. We're overlooking the uh, harbor and uh, North Island Airport. And we're just down the hill from the old lighthouse, Point Loma. Started here in 1850s. What is Point Loma? It is in San Diego or what? It's in San Diego. It's at the point of the harbor. Point of the harbor. It protects the harbor. It points a finger of, of land. And just down there, you can see the Navy stations. Submarine stations right down there, nuclear subs. Yeah, that's in the Navy base. It's the Navy base. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Well, my name is Hud Fries. I'm a professor at the uh, University of California, San Diego, and the head of the genetic disease program at the Burnham Institute for Medical Research. And this turns out to be one of the premier places in the world for biomedical research. Uh, started out here in about 1960 with Jonas Salk, putting the Salk Institute together. It had even been preceded before that by Scripps Institution of Oceanography that could brag about uh, the original ideas toward climate change. And then uh, after that, the university moved in, UCSD, Burnham Institute. We had a lot of independent biotech companies that developed here, and that was really important in completely changing the character of the Do whole they city. Do the same facilities around the world or here in the, the first place? Well, the Scripps Institution of Oceanography was, was for uh, aquatic research and, and uh, the ships that were involved in doing that. And then, and then subsequent to that, it was biotech, medical research, and um, a lot of Nobel Prize winners, for instance, live here and work here because it's a really collaborative environment and it's, uh, it's just blossomed as the military um, endeavors began to go down and the, and the military industrial relationships changed in San Diego. It was at that time that the biomedical industry really began to take off and this was probably one of the most unique places in the country. Okay, for biking, tell me about the biking. Oh, biking. biking, man. This, this is the greatest place for biking. So if you like science, if you like biking, you can't beat coming to San Diego because we've got trails 
all over the place. You look back there in the mountains and you can take your mountain bike back there. If you like uh, flat, even trails down here, there are a lot of bike paths. There are a lot of, of different uh, areas Around. on the roads that you can go ride. And it's just heaven, especially if you like to bike up the coast. Thousands of bikers. Thank you, sir. That's enough. This is Point Loma Lighthouse from 1855 to 1891 was operational. This is the lighthouse in the top in the top of the Point Loma Hill. Salam, my name is Sadat Hassam. Alon, dar Point Loma Hassim, pushed the side of my neck. I'm just a mibinit in lighthouse. Yani, Cheroga Darioi, Shap Hodar Kadim, Boy Rogan. این چراغ روشن میکردن زربین های زیادی جلوش بود کشتی هایی که میخواستن وارد این بندر سندیگو بشن نور رو میدیدن و میومدن اینجا اون موقع مخابرات و بیسیم و اینها نبود فقط با ستاره و دوربین و چراغ بود حالا بقیه جا باقی جای این خانه لایت هاوس یا چراغ دریا رو به شما نشون خواهم داد this is one of the lenses that we use it for the lighthouse. This is one of the biggest lenses right now circling. This is the museum for the lighthouse. People get an idea how it works and how it reflects the lights. This is the statue of the lighthouse keeper. This is the statue of the wife of the lighthouse keeper. الان ساعت سه و بیست دقیقه است و من در پایین لایت هاوس هستم لایت هاوس بالای تپه است ما اومدیم لب آب و اینجا یک کمی باد میاد صدای امواج خروشان این اقیانوس قطع نمیشه بسیار زیبا و آرام بخشه امیدوارم تا اینجایی که براتون تهیه کردم خوشتون بیاد و باز هم از دیدنی های شهر سندیگو برای شما خواهم گفت متشکرم I'm Cheyenne, I'm 16 I'm in Point Loma next to the ocean It's right there, look how pretty it is beautiful. Uh, what time of the year is now? It's winter right now, but as you can see, there's no clouds. It's beautiful. Okay, thank you so much.